Hey guys, I've got this old Heister forklift here. It's a diesel engine. I'm going to show you guys how to bleed the fuel system on this. Um, I'm not going to actually show you how to do it. I'm going to talk you through it though because this thing is so loud. You won't be able to hear what I'm saying if it's running while I do it. So, first things first, this one had a bad hose right here so I had to replace it when I did that all the diesel came out of the line now I've replaced it got a little fuel filter there um, and here it goes into the injector pump now you can kind of see the injector pump down in there it's, it's gear driven so um, but right there on top there's a flathead screw right there now that is a bleed screw it's also a 10 millimeter on this machine um, it's a real pain because this fuel line is in the way now I take that nut off completely and to move it aside and this machine will run without that for a minute especially if you're spraying fuel into the air cleaner um, so loosen that up don't take it out um, and so I would loosen that up and it's going to come out when it has air in it, like Mountain Dew, real fizzy. It has a lot of air bubbles in it. Now, loosen that up, get, you, get your key running, get your battery charger on there because you're going to need it. You're going to be cranking a lot. Um, now, this air cleaner here, you can take it off and take the air cleaner out and use starting fluid or diesel in a squirt bottle. And you want to make that an aerosol, a uh, real mist, if you're going to use diesel. Um, so start squirting that in there and turn the key at the same time. While that screw um, right there, the one I was showing you earlier, is loose. And just let it run. And If it starts, just let it run. If it doesn't, just keep turning it over until all that air is coming out of there. So if that it'll probably run once you get so much air out of the line um, I actually was running it with this injector backed off and I was letting that one bleed out as well but um, anyway so run it until that just starts coming out solid no air bubbles until it starts coming out of that screw no air bubbles and it'll probably be running so good by then you'll you'll know what you're doing um, but that's pretty simple um, comment if you have any questions um, again diesel and a squirt bottle squirt it into the air cleaner without the air element in there without the filter element in there get your battery charger on there for sure because you're gonna be draining this thing down uh, jumper may be on your battery from a, another pickup or something vehicle uh, and that's pretty much it